Here we are at Bukumbi Primary School. ASAP officially partnered with Bukumbi in 2020 to build new toilets and rainwater collection system. 1,024 students and 17 teachers attend this school from pre-primary to standard 7 and until recently, they didn't have a reliable or safe water source and they are forced to use toilets like this. This year, we built two new toilet blocks, each hosting 12 stalls. They are handicap accessible and female restrooms are specifically designed with extra space and added features required for adequate feminine hygiene. These toilets are an improved pit latrine design that allow for septic tanks to be emptied, which significantly increases the lifespan of the building. All toilets come with hand washing stations and an after school water sanitation and hygiene curriculum to ensure students and teachers know how to maintain the facilities and how to keep themselves and others healthy. As you can see, there are a lot of existing buildings at this school, but they don't have a reliable water source. So, our best and most sustainable option for getting water to the school is through rainwater collection. Here we have added gutters to all of the buildings, which collect the water and channel it to these tanks. We have also provided ceramic water filters to ensure the water is safe for consumption. In total, Bukumbi Primary now has the capacity to collect and filter up to 60,000 liters of rainwater. Seth Benjamin Primary School in the village of Mwasonge hosts 957 students and 14 teachers. Seth Benjamin is a new partner school for ASAP and until recently, this school was in desperate need for improved water and sanitation. Like Bukumbi Primary School, we constructed two toilet blocks of 12 stalls each and outfitted a large rainwater catchment system. We are confident that the water and sanitation facilities at Bukumbi and Seth Benjamin Primary Schools will attract out-of-school students, improve attendance, and will create a safer and healthy environment for everyone at the school and throughout the wider community. This is Mayola Primary School, an ASAP partner school since 2019 that hosts 579 students and 15 teachers. In 2019, ASAP completed construction of water and sanitation facilities, but the remaining school structures were in dismal and unsafe conditions. So, this year we renovated much of the school and we constructed a new classroom and filled it with the new desks. Finally, we are here at Hidetemi Secondary School, an ASAP partner school since 2014. Their nearly 1,000 students and 30 teachers have benefited from numerous new facilities and programs in the partnership with ASAP over the years. Teachers housing, water and sanitation, girls dormitories, and entire school renovations, 
school labs and more were previously completed. In 2020, we added two new key facilities here. First, a rainwater collection system was maximized so that we could take advantage of every square foot of roofing in order to capture every drop of water. All facilities were equipped with gutters which capture the water and divert it to an extensive underground plumbing system that connects all of the buildings to an underground water tank here. Once the tank is filled, a water pump sends the additional water up to these elevated tanks. If needed, the elevated tanks allow us to plump water around the campus through navigation of force. This expanded water system can now hold an incredible 280,000 liters. With the help of ceramic water filters, now these students have access to a sustainable and safe water source. Last but not least, we are so excited for this one, a computer laboratory and library. Libraries and computer labs do not really exist in public schools or even in many private schools throughout Tanzania. So this is a very big deal here and is part of ASAP effort to invest in STEM education. Here we have tables, chairs, and bookshelves housing all of the books the school needs. Even though we provided these books several years ago, until now they did not have a place to house the books that was accessible to students. This library changes that. And on this side, we have the computer lab equipped with 36 desktop computers, as well as printers and photocopier machines. Several teachers were trained on how to use and teach this technology and are now teaching a formal and credited course to all students. Most students haven't seen or used a computer before, so the course will take them from the basics to proficiency level in all Microsoft Office programs. Once they have learned the fundamentals, they will have the opportunity to use the computers independently for their own learning and study. And here is the best part. This computer lab is equipped with a unique device called Remote Area Community Hotspot for Education and Learning, or RETRO for short. It's basically an offline server that broadcasts educational content to nearby computers and tablets via Wi-Fi. It's loaded with content that ranges from pre-K to postgraduate level. Students can access just about any subject they are curious about and can watch videos of teachers instructing in Swahili, their native language. Now, when a student has trouble grasping a concept in school or is curious about basically anything they can imagine, they can sit down at the computer and have access to it all. This is an incredible facility that will improve academic performance as well as spark a passion for STEM. We thank the generous donors and our partners at Friends of Tanzania for making this facility possible. That's it for this update. We have so many more projects in the works and we can't wait to share them with you. So check back in to see what we are up to. Or if you'd like to help us continue this work, please consider a donation at the link below. Asante sana.